Thanks for joining us today. We're going to be covering how to use the Wings testing test forecasting system. And this particular system is to gather, it's intended to gather data for our statistician, Sergey Popov, so that he can uh, take a look at the distribution of uh, a forecast at, you know, when people are forecasting, when they're not uh, over, over various uh, ICOs that sort of thing and tweak the rewards model that we have outlined in the scientific white paper, which uh, if you head over to wings.ai, you could uh, you could read that uh, here on the website. It's accessible scientific white paper. So if you're seeing this video, most likely you received an email from us. There's about 5,000 of you who have either donated um, BTC, uh, Ether, or other cryptocurrencies, or have donated your time uh, through the bounty program. And so you all are going to get wings at some point. Uh, but for now, we're using test wings. And so you will have a special code in that email and the URL, which uh, you can paste in. And as you can see that there's a, a 12 le letter and alphanumeric code there and head over to owl.wings.ai and you're going to create a, a new account and you can use the, the same email that you uh, had received uh, the, the code in and pick a password with uh, one, one uppercase letter, a couple lowercase letters and some numbers and you're going to click generate passphrase. Now because this is a test system, you don't need to do anything special with this passphrase. You don't need to save it in a safe or under your bed or in a sock or wherever you might be hiding your private keys. But, but in general, if this were a real system, you would actually want to save this file, put it on a somewhere, somewhere secure, maybe make copies of it, that sort of thing. And uh, what we're going to do here now is I'm just going to paste it here into the address bar so it's handy and we're going to repeat to the browser these 12 words so that it verifies that I have made some effort to uh, save this uh, mnemonic. There we go. So it matches and I'm going to create an account. Server is going to assign me an Ethereum address and this is running on a, a, on a DevNet. So it's not on the actual Ethereum network right now. And now we should be in. So there's a, a few proposals as we can see here. There's a spam DAO. Looks really interesting. There's uh, and then there's a bunch of real world ICOs that you might have heard of uh, that are going on, which you can uh, which you can forecast on. And so we're just going to head over here, click on this circle, and you can see because I had put in that uh, URL with the the twelve alphanumeric code, I've been assigned 10, 10 points, or in this case, test wings. And uh, so I can head back here, uh, click on discover and I can start forecasting. So uh, let's say I want to take a look at uh, this one here, Equibit. I'm going to click on read more. And it shows here they've got a target amount of uh, 2,500. Right now there's no forecast. So there's obviously the average forecast is going to be zero. And the project end date here is uh, April 1st. And so if I read here, what it says is in the instructions, please make a forecast for how much, uh, it looks like there was a typo there, Equibit will raise in BTC value on the last day, 24 hours of the crowdfund, which is on April 1st, 2017. So I could read a bit about uh, uh, Equibit here and I can click on this link, 
which uh, takes me to our friends over at Token Market. And they've got a whole bunch of information here. Website, links, blog, white paper, you know, Slack chat, you name it. You can read all this stuff here. Look at the team, technology, take a look at if they've got anything going on in GitHub, what their latest Facebook posts are, all that kind of stuff. And then come back over here and say, remember this is, this is to forecast for the last 24 hours. So I'm going to click on forecast right here next to view. And I'm going to wait a second for it to load. And so now this slider has loaded up and it's set at um, the 2500 target. But remember, in this case, we're only being asked to um, forecast what the final amount will be on the last day. So I'm going to take a look at this website real quick. And I'm going to see how much they raised so far. Because there's a thing in crypto that kind of says that whatever you have in the first part of the ICO, there's a chance that you'll, you'll probably get the same in the latter part. So it looks like to date, they've raised a bit over half a million. So it's about 500 BTC worth. Uh, if you add the convert the USD over to BTC. So I'm going to come back here and say like, okay, well, uh, I think they're, they're going to get another 500, 505 BTC and make it maybe a little comment here, a full project. And now I'm going to save my forecast. It's going to ask me for that password that I had set when I created this account and the account, just so we're clear on this, the account is not an actual account on a central database or anything like that. It's just uh, an account that's on your browser that's storing um, that uh, mnemonic key and encrypting it and so forth. So don't lose your computer and don't get it hacked. Uh, there we go. We've submitted that. It says your forecast is processing. And uh, now the page is going to refresh and my forecast is here and you can see that there's a, there's, a, there's the ball for, this is actually my avatar, I guess, uh, and it's got my comment and so forth. Ignore this uh, latest against, latest pro, this is not, um, again, because we're kind of modifying the, uh, the forecasting here for these 24 hour periods. This, uh, this this part of the UI should actually uh, is irrelevant. So just ignore that. And I'm going to come back to uh, this the Discover tab and look at a couple more projects. So we've got this really interesting one here, Spam DAO, and uh, it's asking me to estimate the value of this Spam DAO ICO. So we all know what Spam is supposed to be valued at, and that's supposed to be zero. submit that forecast that uh, it looks like we got a little bit of an issue and we'll get that fixed for all right I'm back and uh, I'm going to try to make a forecast for the spam DAO we should have corrected the, the interface and click on forecast, scroll down, give it a minute to think. There we go. Got the slider here and we've got the spam DAO, which one is to raise 10,000 BTC. And we're gonna try this one more time. Zero BTC because it's a, it's a spam DAO. And we're gonna leave this little nice note here. save this forecast and voila we've got the forecast so that's going to be published it 
down over here and we can see that we've got uh, we've got the forecast here on the left. So as I was mentioning before, uh, you can head down here back to Discover, go through the uh, the several projects we have here. Sometimes give it give the interface a few seconds to load up. Uh, this is coming all this data is coming from the one dev node and uh, DevNet node and uh, an IPFS node running on a single server. So it's uh, it's uh, we're trying to we're doing things to accelerate it, but just give it a few seconds. Sometimes it needs a a little bit of a kick to uh, to um, to load up. But you can go through here and forecast, and we'll probably be adding a few more projects. So pay attention to the Twitter. Uh, or Facebook announcements or in the chat and uh, you'll be able to gather as many forecasts as possible and hopefully you get um, you get a chance at getting a piece of that two thousand dollars of wings that we'll be awarding to the people that uh, help out in uh, testing uh, testing this so uh, one other thing if you do see some issue uh, in the UI or whatnot something's not working right you can uh, you can email support at wings.ai and just let us know. Uh, ideally, provide a screenshot and uh, we'll we'll take a look at it. Thanks again and have a great day.